When I was afraid, you were with me, and you lifted me up, you lifted me up, you lifted me up, oh, you lift, come on, sing it out before the Lord, yeah, you lifted me up, oh, you lifted me up. For a minute, I'm addressing death straight up, man. Where there was death, you brought life. Death is not the all-encompassing element most human beings think. There's life on the other side. He said, he who believes on me, I'm the resurrection and the life. <laughs> I know you didn't hear me. I'm going to say it again. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Lazarus come forth <laughs> I'm the reser if, if you would ask me the woman at the well I'd give you water you'd never thirst again for he who believes in me has everlasting life you know I've been getting a, a new outlook on e eternal life and the opposite of death as people leave this plane on this earth and the Lord said can I'm going to help you understand because when you're young and I mean even your little goldfish your dog or your cat dies I mean you're just torn up oh, I hate death but the Lord said oh no I've conquered it I conquered it when I rose from the grave that's why all the fear mongering crowd with COVID and look there's life on the other side nobody lasts forever in this lifetime I am the resurrection and the life. And you're saying, what about the Son of God, Jesus, resurrection and the life? Wow. Where there was death, you brought life, Lord. Where there was fear, you brought courage. And I'm not done because the Holy Spirit said, keep going. So, the, yea, though I walk through, yea, <laughs> though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, finish it for me. Psalm 23. I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valley, it's for somebody today or somebody watching the restream of this. Death is not that powerful after all. Let's live a good, strong life for the, for the Lord. And, you know, the new phrase, I guess, corporately uh, 10 years ago is, well, let's finish strong. <laughs> you got your finish strong. Let's finish deep in the presence, obeying the Holy Spirit. Um, he who has the most to toys when he dies wins. Oh, that is so wrong. That is so off in so many ways. Well, check out the third verse, Brian Tor. In your heart, it's moved with compassion. There is life, there is healing in your love. You're the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. And for eternity, we will sing of all you've done. Yeah, for eternity, eternity, we will sing of all. Let's do it one more time. Your heart is so moved. In your heart, Lord, it's so moved with compassion. There is life. There is healing in your love. You're the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. For eternity, we will sing of all. Uh, how many are with me on it now? Let me see the hearts and the thumb. For eternity, we will sing. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to see if the person was on there. Somebody sent me a note. Kent, you'll never know until the other side. It came in, I guess it was on Facebook, on Messenger or something. 
She goes, I want you to know, Kim, what you've done the last four months, you'll never know how much it's meant to hundreds and thousands of people. Was it Lori? I'm trying to remember her name. Uh, but it really blessed me, man. It was like last night, uh, I don't know, 6.30 or 7. I think it was just the last day she sent it to me. But, man, it was such a blessing. Thank you for sharing that with me because, dude, I, I'm in the saddle. We're going there. Prophetic worship. And uh, thank you so much for singing. God with us. God for us. Nothing can come again. No, no one can stand. So we can deal with death on this plane straight up and say, Lord, you have conquered it. You've defeated it. It's one of the greatest things, might be my top 20, that the Lord has done on the earth in his earthly ministry. Wow. Man. And I hate cancer. Not fair. Death was defeated once and for all, Pamela. Thank God. But I brought a special song. <laughs> it just came up. I heard one of the kids in the prayer room in Kansas City. I turn on the prayer room, IHOP KC. <laughs> and pretty much... Every other set, I hear a song from the 70s and 80s. I was sitting there one day years ago, and they started into I Exalt Thee. But the young worship leader did this. They're doing the set change. The band's not out there yet. They're not set up. They take the first 10 or 15 minutes to allow the band to get going. He was by himself on a keyboard. He says, draw me close to you. Never let me go. You're 
drive-through worship. That was a good kid. If you share it again, sure. This is not drive-through worship. Gotta get, I gotta get my, my soda, my tacos, get my stuff. And then it's over. It's never over. And the Lord 
lifestyle worship. What a day we're bringing the rain with Psalm 66. 20 awesome verses. Make a joyful noise. That's for all my friends that don't sing that well or say, Ken, you don't want me on a microphone. <laughs> I said, I know. We might not want you on a microphone, but the Lord said, I want you to make a joyful noise. And I think of all the people who said, well, I'm not really a good singer, but I do love to worship. Thank God. He's got a big tuning fork. It doesn't make any difference. And he, he gets that tuning, and it all is tuned up in his ears because of your precious heart before the Lord. So Psalm 66, I gave it my own title. Shout and make a joyful noise for how awesome are your works, Lord. Make a joyful noise, noise. make a joyful shout. And the King James says both actually has a, a memo. It has a note there. It could be shout joyfully or shout with a joyful noise. <laughs> Either way, and how awesome are the works of the Lord. Carla's going to do the keystone scriptures for this, and we're going to get going on Psalm 66. Uh, just an encouragement to those that are dealing with death and, yes. and so the ramifications pretty. of that, Sadikela. and that is that God wants to tell you that eternal life does not begin the day you pass on this earth. God. Yeah. Your eternal life begins Woo and began yes. the day you were born again. <laughs> so death in this life is just Woo! the transition into that. Preach, Carla. Come on now. Um, so take heart, you know, <laughs> and don't be afraid. It's not a fearful thing. It's Thank like God. someone said, the yeah. scripture says, you know, happy in the sight of the Lord. It's the death of his saints because now he's got them even closer to him. Psalm 66, we're going to make a joyful noise, and we're going to talk about his awesome works. We're going to ask the earth, all the earth, to make that joyful noise and sing out to honor his name. We're going to say to God today, Jesus. how awesome are your works through the greatness of your power. Invite others to come and see the works that God has done because he's awesome and he's doing it among the sons of men. Bless God, you, all you people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. He keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. And we can do this even if we can't congregate, which we should be able to congregate, but anyway. <laughs> if we can't congregate, that's just tough. We can do it right here. All of us together around the world. Yeah. People from all over the world. Amy in New Zealand. People from all over the world are joining in. And all over the world, we're going to worship God today. And we're going to make a joyful noise. Verse 1, Psalm 66. Make a joyful noise to God. Shout to God, all the earth. Make a joyful noise. Shout joyful praises to God. Send up a glad cry, all the earth. Everyone, everywhere, lift up your joyful shout to God. Sing out the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Strike the harp, praise his glorious name. Sing your songs tuned to his glory. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise to our God. Shout in all the earth, yeah. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise. Let us shout to God in all the earth. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise. Let us shout. In all the earth, yeah. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise, and shout to God. You know, I love this passion right here, and I am striking my heart, singing my songs, tuned into your glory, 
to check that out to your glory. I am striking my heart. I'm singing my songs. Tuned to your glory. Tuned to the king. Yeah, we are striking our harp and we are singing our songs. Tuned into your glory. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Well, we're striking my heart and I'm singing my song. Tuned into your glory. Yeah. We are tuned into your glory. Yeah. Tuned into your glory. Here we are tuned into your glory. Verses 3 and 4 say to God, what should we say? How awesome are your works, O Lord. Say it out loud wherever you be today. We say to you, Lord, how awesome are your works. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies have submitted themselves to you. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds, Lord. And your enemies are cringing before your mighty power. How much do I love that? Say it again. I think I will. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds, Lord. For your enemies are cringing before your mighty power. Say to the Lord, how tremendous is your work, Lord. And by the greatness of your power enemies dwindle away before you that is so awesome lord mighty in miracles you cause your enemies to tremble and all the earth shall worship you verse 4 and sing praises to you they will sing praises to your name and everything on earth i love this will worship you everything yeah Everything on earth will worship and praise your name. What? Everything on earth will worship you, Lord, and praise your name. Praise your everything on earth will worship you, praising your name. The New Living says they will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. And the passion, all men on earth will fall prostrate, bowing before you in your presence, Lord. And they will sing psalms to honor your name. I'm going to be there for some of that, Lord. All the earth will sing your glories. I said all the earth will sing your glories. How long will it be? Forever, forever, forever and ever, forever and ever. The earth will sing of your glories. They're singing your glories forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. Singing of your glory. Come and see the works of God. See what our God has done. He is awesome in his doing toward the sons of men. Awesome miracles he performs for people. See what God has accomplished, his tremendous deeds among men. He is awe-inspiring in his activity among men. It takes your breath away. Everyone will say, come and see the incredible things God has done. It will take your breath away. He multiplies miracles for his people. He turned the sea into dry land. Wow. They went through the flood on foot. There we did rejoice in him. 
He made a dry path through the Red Sea, and his people went across on foot. There we rejoiced in him. He made a highway right through the Red Sea. The Hebrews passed through on dry ground, exploding with joyous excitement over the miracles of God. You made a highway right through the middle of the Red Sea. It's a miracle. You did a miracle, God. You made a highway right through the middle of the Red Sea. It's a miracle. A miracle, yeah. Sing it out, yeah. Lord, you made. You made a highway right through the Red Sea. The middle of the Red Sea. It's a miracle. This is what you do, Lord. It's a miracle, yeah. It was a miracle, yeah. You made a highway right through the middle of the Red Sea, and they were exploding with joy. They were exploding with joy. Such excitement that Miriam and the dancers danced for hours the other side of the Red Sea. It's a miracle. And at your miracles, people explode with joy, joyous excitement, Lord. It's a miracle, Miriam and her friends dance for a few hours on the other side of the Red Sea. Sing, look at what the Lord has done, yeah, you made a highway right through the middle of the Red Sea, rejoice at your miracles. We rejoice at your miracles, God. At you, every one of your Old Testament and New Testament miracles, we rejoice. Verses 7, 8, 9. You rule by your power forever. Your eyes observe the nations. That is huge. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves, Lord. For by your great power, you rule forever. Man, put that in your heart, God. I, I send text to people. Hey, bro, Jesus rules and reigns forever. It's so childlike or elementary. People go, man, I love that you put that in your text, bro. For Jesus rules and reigns forever. You watch every movement of the nations. Let no rebel rise in defiance, Lord. In your mighty power, you rule, oh man, forever. Watching over every nation, so beware, rebel lands. He knows how to humble you. Oh, I would say yes on that. And Selah. Oh, bless our God, O oh, ye peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Let the whole world bless our God and loudly sing his praises. I said, they'll loudly sing your praises, Lord. Praise him everywhere and let everyone know you, your love for him. Wow. You keep our soul among the living. It says, you keep our soul among the living, Lord, and does not allow our feet to slip or to be moved. Thank you so much, Lord. Our lives are in your hands, and you keep our feet from stumbling. Amen. So praise the one. Praise the one who gives us life and keeps us safe. Would you say, Ken? said praise the one come on and praise the one who gives us life and keeps us safe I know you keep us safe we cry out praise the one yeah I said praise the one who gives us life and keeps us safe you keep us safe Lord we're doing it right here today, Lord. I cry, praise the one 
Come on and praise the one who gives us a life and keeps us safe and who does not allow us to stumble. You have tested us, O oh God. You have proved us. Wow. You have refined us and purified us as silver is refined. O oh Lord, we have passed through your fire like precious metal made pure. You've proved us, perfected us, and made us holy. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. You captured us in your net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the flood. Oh, man. But you brought us out to rich abundance, rich fulfillment. You've allowed our enemies to prevail against us. We've passed through fire and flood. Yet in the end, you always bring us out better than we were before. Jesus. Saturated. Awesome with your goodness through the fire and through the flood you brought us out to rich abundance lord come on get this you guys oh my god yeah some through the fire some through the flood but you always bring us out into heaven's abundance lord Well, some through the fire, some through the flood. But you bring us out to rich abundance. I love that. What a promise. Are you kidding? That's a promise. Huge. Yeah. We went through the fire. Some of us even went through the flood. There it is. Oh, yeah. Rich abundance because of who you are. Yeah. Rich abundance because of your provision rich abundance lord rich abundance because of who you are and your promises yeah, some through the fire some through the flood you bring us out into your rich abundance my god some through the fire, well, some through the fire, some through the flood. You bring us out into your rich abundance. I love that, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much from the depths of our heart. Ah, 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 ah. Some through the fire, some through the flood. You bring us out into your rich abundance, Lord. Yeah. Some to the fire. I I'm sure there's an old time hymn with that in there. And then there's an older black gospel song. It, it, it would do your heart so good. I don't, I don't remember it right now, but man, some to the fire. These things have been written in hymns. Check it out. And then we go. Psalm 66. Verses 13. And 15. I will go into your house with burnt offerings, okay? And I will pay you my vows. Which my lips have uttered and my mouth have spoken when I was in trouble. Come on, hear this again. This is called the prisoner's prayer for people that do prison ministry or jailhouse ministry, the prisoners, if you just get me out of this sword, I'll never do it again. <laughs> what? If you just get me out, and then time goes by, they get, Lord helps them out of it, and they didn't keep their vow. But the psalmist here in Psalm 66 says, I will go into your house with burnt offerings, God, and I will pay you my vows, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken, and that was when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of the fat animals. 
And with the sweet aroma of the rams, I will offer bulls with goats. I will come into your house with burnt gifts. I will give you what I promise, Lord. Wow, so good. Wow. Promises made by my lips and spoken by my mouth when I was in deep trouble, Lord. I'll give you burnt gifts of fat animals with the smoke of the rams. Wow. And the contemporary English version says, I will sacrifice my best sheep, Lord. I'm not bringing you the blemished ones. I will offer bulls and goats on your altar. Wow, what a different day it was back then. And then the passion. I will come before you. In your presence with my sacrifice, I will come before you in your presence. I will come before your presence with my sacrifice, Lord. And I'll give you all I have, everything I have as I promise, Lord. I come before your presence. With my sacrifice, I come before your presence. With my heart and life, I come before you with my, within your presence, with my sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, with my life and heart. In the New Testament, it says, I'm a living sacrifice. This is my valid place of worship. This is my sacrifice of praise and worship. I'll give you my heart and my life in full surrender. It goes on, I'll give you all that I promised, everything I have. Verse 14. When I was overcome in my anguish, I promised to give you my sacrifice. And Lord, here it is. All I said I would offer to you, this is yours. Wow. The best thing I have to bring, I'll throw it all in the fire as the fragrance of my sacrifice ascends to you. <laughs> I'm going to read it one more time. The best I have to bring, I'll throw it all in the fire as the fragrance of my sacrifice ascends to you. <laughs> it's the heart of worship. Old or New Testament, it's the heart of worship. Carla? Come and hear Come and listen. All you who fear that revere God, and I will tell you what he has done for my soul, what he did for me. Come, all you worshipers, everyone who reveres the true God, I will declare what he has done for my soul. All you lovers of God who want to please him, come and listen. And I'll tell you what he did for me. I cried out to him for help, praising him as I spoke. I cried loudly to him and praised him in my speech. I cried to him with my mouth and praised him with my tongue. I cried aloud to him with all my heart, and he answered me. Now my mouth overflows with the highest praise. My mouth overflows with the highest praise. With what? Giving you the highest praise. Here I am again, Lord. I shouted, I called to you, and you answered me. You answered me. And now my mouth overflows with your highest praise. Oh, I cried out and you answered me. I cried out and you answered me. And now my mouth is 
overflowing with your highest praise. With your highest praise, giving you the highest praise. Giving you the highest praise. My mouth is overflowing, God, because of what come in here. And listen, all you who fear and that revere God, I'll tell you what He's done for myself. Give you my highest praise, yeah, highest praise. My mouth is overflowing, overflowing with your highest praise. Because of what you've done in the miracle and the awesome God, giving you my highest, what? giving you my highest, praise. giving you my highest praise, not the leftover praise, not the praise from yesterday, but this is current streaming from my heart to you, giving you my highest praise. regard iniquity in my heart, yes, the Lord will not hear. Check that. If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord have, would have not listened. Yet, if I had closed my eyes to my own sin, the Lord God would have closed his ears. Wow, that'd be a difficult thing, wouldn't it? It is sure that God has heard. He has listened to the voice of my prayer. But God did listen. He paid attention to the urgency of my request. But certainly, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. And I want to hold just for a minute. Rewind the videotape from a half an hour ago when we started this song. Because Carla's going to finish with verse 20. It's so powerful. And then I want to sing it. But let's give thanks for a minute. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Praise God, who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. Honor and thanks be to God. He has not turned away from my prayer or held his wow. loving kindness you, from Lord. me. And the passion says, I will forever praise this God who didn't close his heart when I prayed and never said no when I asked him for help. He never once refused to show me his tender love. I will forever praise. I will forever praise you for your tender mercies, Lord. forever praise I will forever praise you Lord for your tender mercy new every morning yeah. I, I 
will forever pray You for your tender mercies And Lord, yeah, I, I will forever pray Come on, sing with me Your tender mercies, Lord off to Matt and I want to say thanks for your support. We're getting toward the end of the month. If you can give extra right now, we're, we're still trying to get to our monthly budget. And it's real simple. I just talk about it, man. So anything you can give right now toward the end of the month of July will help us out. Again, Matt's been explaining it's about $3.50 now that we're back to five days per stream. But we are loving it, digging it. Man, I'm getting responses. I mean, seriously, I want to mention David and Margaret Cloyd said, Kent, you, we had some problems at the house, some little difficulties there. They would get online and said, you were, you were the stream of life for us. These guys are veteran believers. All of a sudden we said, oh, $100 from David and Margaret Cloyd. I want to thank them personally if they're watching today or watching the restream later. But, uh, man, it's been life-giving. Matt and I are enjoying it, along with Carla. It's just been massive, four months running live stream. And this is the beginning, or the establishment now, of the prophetic worshiping intercessory community that can bust out for Jesus. Anyway, go ahead, Matt. Yes, thank you guys for joining another day, another psalm. God, we are just so thankful for you guys joining us here today. 
Again, like he said, we're going live five days a week and we want to connect with all of those friends out there who maybe don't know we're here because this is the body of Christ and we're here to lift each other up and uh, do this all together. So we're just trying to grow and expand this community. And if you guys could hit that like button, hit that share button, turn on your notifications so that you know when we're going live, live five days a week. And uh, if you are blessed by what we're doing here, uh, if you want to help support it and make it free for all who come and see it even live or they see it later, we have all of these videos up on our uh, channels for free for people to go back and rewatch and uh, to be able to soak in and, uh, you know, have it help their life. Uh, thankful uh, for Tara. She's in watching today and uh, she gave to help support the stream yesterday. So thank you, Tara. We'll see that here in a second on the Facebook stream. But if you want to give, there's several ways to do that today. We try to go through this real fast for you. But we have chman.org. That's for carriagehouseministries.org. Or you can go to kenthenry.com. You're looking at the CH Min site right now. If you hit the donations button, it'll take you to our donations page where you can do a monthly support. You can do a one-time donation or the 12 campaign, which is saying, hey, I only have a dollar a month. But hey, that's amazing for us. For any amount of money you guys want to help secure and put into this, this, we put it out and, and do it the best we can with every dollar that comes in. And uh, so we're so thankful for you jumping on. If you want to give a dollar a month, you can use that 12 campaign that's saying, hey, I want to support you for the year. Um, if you want to scroll down there, you can donate by check. If you're a check sender, then that's the address right there and the and the name that you can send that to. And lots of friends have been doing that. So thankful for those checks coming in, making it. Like Dad said, we're a little shy for where we are in the month right now. But uh, so if there's a, something the Lord puts on your heart, we always say prayerfully consider it. Have him speak to you. He knows what we need and he knows what he wants to flow through all of you out there. If you're catching this later, if you're catching it live, uh, you're helping this thing to go out for free. If you want to check out the store, we also have lots of products, lots of stuff on there that you can check out. You can also give right through the store. You can sign up and get 20% off right there on the screen. Also, we have PayPal. It's paypal.me slash C-H-M-I-N, paypal.me slash C-H-M-I-N. That'll take you right here in your browser. You just go to your browser, type that in. You'll see this exact site, and uh, you can log in safe and secure with your PayPal account if you're a PayPal user. If you're joining us on Facebook, this is the one right here that Tara gave to. See if I can refresh that screen and see how that pops up. Uh, she got us up to the 900 mark right there. Let me see. So let's get that over there. Yeah. Yep, 920. Thank you, Tara, for your gift that brought us up to there. Just gave that yesterday. If you're a Facebook user, check your comments. I have it pinned in there. You can jump over. Give all done through Network for Good. We also have the stars right there in the comments. Uh, thank you to Eric again, who gave, I think, 3,000 stars. So a $30 donation. Thank you, Eric, for supporting the stream. It means so much to us that, that uh, you know, we're doing this. We're able to connect with everybody. So check out the stars right there. Those are worth one cent apiece, 50, 100, 200, if you're joining us on Facebook. We also have the YouTube chat. Super chat is right there in the YouTube comments. If you're set up to do that, you can check that out. If you're a YouTube friend joining us, we also have text giving. Oh, we see Aaron Allison just gave a few seconds ago, $25. Thank you, Aaron Allison, for supporting today's stream. Yes. So thankful. You can put the word C-H-M-G-I-V-E in your message field and send it to 44321. And that will send you a link right back where you can click on that and you can complete a whole online giving thing safe and secure through Give Lively. Yeah, I'm being interrupted. Yeah, I was going to say I appreciate Aaron. By the way... Um We've had a number of churches. Aaron's church is giving $100 a month. And so um, uh, we're, we're going to go on vacation for a few days here at the end of the month. We haven't, well, Carla and I have been one, she said six or seven years, years I don't know. But um, what we're doing is I'm going to be contacting churches that I've been to and just ask them if they can do that. Um, instead of churches tanking out, I've been finding that folks have been pretty faithful and stuff. So the tithe base has been sustained on some degree. But man, I've been to literally hundreds of churches all over America. And so I want you to start praying about that because if we got monthly support like Aaron's church in Hendersonville, uh, Tennessee, uh, man, that would be tremendous. I mean, and they could do $25, 50 uh, you know, $75 a month. But uh, start praying about that, that the churches I'll call back to. And uh, we'll have a brochure and stuff. And I mean, they can go online and look at it at the website. But man, if we had churches just jump in, it'd be real easy to cover. So once you start praying about it, and thank you, Aaron. And the new name of the church, Carla, is Christ. 
Christ in love? I think that's it because it was either his son or his daughter that he could answer on online here, but uh, it's Christ in love church. I love that name. I think I'm right. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, and then you can also do the word give 12 if you're a text uh, to give user. That'll generate a link, send it right back to you. Again, 44321 is the phone number. It'll send a link right back. All done safe and secure through Give Lively, our partner on that. And lastly, we like to tell everybody that if you are an Amazon shopper, check out the Amazon program that they do that will support nonprofits. Kenton Henry Ministries is a 501c3 available to uh, receive donations from this Amazon Smile program. So you're going to want to check that out in your comments if if you're on Facebook, I sent them all over the place, I believe. If you're watching this later, you can find all of those somewhere in the comments or in the description of the videos. Make sure you check it all out because uh, you could be supporting us just with your normal everyday shopping that you do on Amazon and uh, they'll give half percent right there. So check it out for your region or your area because we would love to be supported by just your everyday shopping. No extra expense to you. It's an amazing way to, to send worship and all that around the globe for free. So thank you guys for joining us for another day. Remember, tomorrow night is over in Jihop, the House of Prayer, the Gateway House of Prayer is what that is. And uh, so we'll be live going uh, two hours starting at 7 p.m. CST. We thank you guys for joining us and being a part of today's stream. Make sure you let somebody know that this will be live again. Maybe I'm going to try a 9 p.m. tonight live stream just to see. Uh, who we're connecting with all over the globe. It's kind of hard for me to figure out what's the best time, but I did it at 9 p.m. one night, and there was a lot of people on there. So maybe it's a good bedtime thing for people in the U.S. and hit somebody else. But let people know that we're going to be restreaming it, and then it will be back up. Yeah, Aaron responded, Matt. It's Christ is Love Church. And I, was that your son or your daughter? It's C-I-L, which is kind of an unusual um, like abbreviation, but Christ is love. <laughs> That's one of the best church names. It was church, uh, the church at Indian Lake for many years, but man, Christ is love. What a great one. All right. We'll see you tomorrow night. God bless. Be blessed guys.